Hey guys, how you doing? It was a dark and stormy night. Happy Think Definitions Tuesday, guys. It's a little spooky outside. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty black out right now. How's everybody doing? Hang on, you're all kinds of crooked over here. Oh, what the heck happened? Oh, because you're... <laughs> might be good if you're actually put in where you're supposed to be. Okay. There you go. Make sure you're not all crazy looking. Mm. Still kind of ish kabibbled here. All right. No, you're good. You're good. All right. Let's get in there before it starts raining. I want to make sure you can hear me okay. You can see me okay. Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Hey, Kate. How you doing? Oh, thanks, girl. I've missed you, Kate. How's, how's it going? When are you coming back down? It is going to be raining any minute, so I'm trying to hurry and move our buns here. Move our buns. Um, remember, no point in taking the tr tram because it literally goes from there to here. Kind of like um, Hollywood Studios. Why am I looking? Sounds like weird right now. Hang on. I feel like there's something going on with this gimbal today. What is my off? Did I lose it? No, no, have my umbrella, I sure do. But, mm -hmm. it doesn't go very far. It's like one of those short trips. <laughs> so, luckily if you come late in the afternoon, I was able to park like up close there. So this is about as far as it goes right now. It doesn't really go very far. So, yeah, hey Horizons, hey Alicia. What is going on? Oh, I see what it is. All right. Okay. Is it dangling? Yep, there we go. I was wondering, like, why is it, like, being weird right now? Hang on, let me put you guys down in a trash can. I'm like, there's something weird. It's just come loose a little bit over here. Okay. Um, it's 88. It's like that calm before the storm. Got my Starbucks. Um, I was hoping it was going to rain while I was eating lunch, dinner at the springs. Hang on one second. You've got... Mm. I think it's just, yep, it's just come loose over on this side. Okay, one sec. Okay, make sure nothing's jiggling over there. Make sure you guys are locked and loaded. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. I did a... Uh, Trenta cold brew salted caramel um, coffee. I <laughs> a, look at this like paper straw. They're just so weird looking. I just grabbed it on the way out from um I had some yosaki today. Posted it on Facebook. I love the little bowl, the salad bowl with the um, beef and tuna because it's so delicious and keto friendly. I mean, you can't even beat it. I got the sukiyaki beef, which is so good with a spiky, spicy pokey sauce, which only has one carb. Um, avocado extra, which is extra seaweed salad and cucumbers. A little bit of onion. It was delicious. Why am I all weird? Hang on. cool out though because it's about to rain um yeah it's not has not happened yet why are we so off today hang on guys I'm feeling weird why is it weird Cooking, but we're not. All right. All right. It's very 
strange. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I should go up. You know what it is? It's this right here. Oh, who's the other one? You're so crooked. What, what is going on? Trying something. Oh, ah, that's better. Okay, there we go. There we go. I just sometimes if you don't put put yourself in there straight, it looks all kinds of crooked. All right. <laughs> it's just how the clamp sits on the phone half the time. It's not all the way right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now we're straight. It's my OCD. I can't help it. Oh, we're leaning again. Hmm. I'll play with it when we get there. <laughs> it's being weird. Very, very weird. Hang on. Turn you off and turn back on. Sometimes that helps. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes? Okay. You can see me. Oh, let me cover you up. We're gonna go through security. It's nice and cool. It is 82 currently. Very short, very short. Let me cover you up. Can't film through security. Don't panic. We'll be just fine. I'll s you can see me or you can hear me, but you'll be able to see. Hang on, I'll be quick. to be monsoon in here in a minute. It's, it's been like that for a couple of days and it won't rain. It won't rain. It's like, because if I bring my umbrella, it won't rain. If I don't bring my umbrella, it's going to monsoon. Isn't that it, crazy it's how like that. Because I'm like, all right, we got the umbrella today. We're good. And go ahead and rain. It didn't rain all day. I even brought it into work. I'm like, because then I always get stuck and have to wear a trash bag back to the car. But no, nope, not today. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. of gear later. Oh, <laughs> you did not let me put it on then. <laughs> 60 pounds later, go ahead. You're great, because that's heavy. Make sure, do you want my air pack? Yeah, it's not on because it's got a thing on it. It's it's closed. It's got a lens cap, the giant lens cap. It's not on. Yeah. Can I double check on that? Make sure you weren't taking any pictures. Trying to get me caught in the rain. Here we go. We gotta run, guys. We gotta run. Uh, I have got nothing else better to do today. 
Okay. He has a lens cap. How am I filming with a lens cap on? So crazy, that boy. All right, here we go. Let's make this quick. It is sprinkling. Trying to make a run for it. There you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> they are waiting around. All right. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. It's sprinkling. I mean, I can't even turn it on because it has to scan my face. I just, you know, it's okay. He doesn't know what he's looking at. It's like, don't leave my backpack on if you're just going to scan me. I'm like, go ahead, scan. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I wish we really had it like Universal where we just throw everything in the, in the container. Everybody goes to the metal detector. It's so fast and so organized that is the one thing that they do so much better than disney is actually security everybody goes to the metal detector everybody just throws it in the little bus tub just like at the airport it's so fast it's like 20 seconds 30 seconds none of this digging in the bag and then they then you when you get through the line then they're gonna have these three other people decide whether or not they're gonna wand you i'm like don't make me put my backpack on just to take it back off again. It's like, everybody should just do it so fast. It's very, very disorganized, especially today. <laughs> and it's raining. Yeah, they're a little slow on that. Uh, it's expensive, probably. Can't afford to have, like, they have a very organized hub area at Universal. It's like a perfect little semicircle. Both of the... Um, what do you call it? Garages feed right into it. Hang on, let me grab my umbrella. Um, it feeds right into it. It's so good. It's just, oh, it's expensive. They have like 20, maybe 20 of them. Um, it's just like the airport. You just, you don't even have to dig through the bag. They just scan through the x-ray. It probably costs a lot of money to go through them. Um, to buy that many but it would be definitely efficient plus you can't really i don't think they're movable like disney moves their um what do you call it security stations all the time they're just tents universal is kind of fixed because it's actually like an x-ray machine a metal detector but it's so fast nobody's got to dig through your bag you literally throw it in there run through the x-ray you go through the machine 30 seconds Oh no, they're just, I mean, I don't care. They're three guys that can wand me up and down. It don't bother me none. <laughs> really young guy, still had braces on. He's, he's young, he didn't know any better. He's just a kid. Usually if Rob's with me, he's the one that'll get metal detected, but you're gonna pick on the little five foot two girl. It's, I guess I'm easy pickings, but it's so, it's raining. So <laughs> you need to get people out of the rain quickly, but no, they were just, they're young. I figured they're young and new, I don't care, open it. I mean, I can't even open my phone unless I put my face in it. It's face activated. <laughs> I'm like, how can I film when the lens cap is on? <laughs> I'm like, it has a cap, you see that? It has a cap, but that's okay. It's just lack of education, it's not their fault. We encounter this every now and again, as long as you're sassy but nice, but nice. Nice is the key word. You can educate them nicely. <laughs> he didn't give me a hard time about the gimbal. He just wanted to make sure that I wasn't filming, and I wasn't. I, you, you guys can't see. <laughs> it's just lack of education. You know, you're always going to get a new crop of people every now and again. You get college program kids every few months. You get new people all the time. It's not their fault. Oh, my poor. I'm more concerned about this paper there, straw. Huh? <laughs> That's the priority of our life right here. Paper straws are the devil. Can't get through your coffee. All right. That's okay, we'll have to switch straws. I just wanna get in the land because I have a feeling it's gonna downpour here in just a sec. It's sprinkling. 
I want to be safely cocooned inside the land. Smells like rain. Oh, he's, she's got that. You know nothing, Jon Snow. But he doesn't say Jon Snow. He just says, you know nothing. I love it. I still need the shirt that says, what do we say to the God of Death? Not today. <laughs> All right, let's get in here and be safe because it's about hot sprinkling now. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Another real beautiful day, <laughs> another beautiful day in Orlando. Rain, rain, every day rain. But at least it's better than that heat since yesterday, so at least we won't overheat. Oh no. Bubbles, bubbles. Out of here. Okay. All right. Peter. It's like a yucky. Also be careful like they don't zip up your stuff. I've had come out of security a bunch of times and they don't like zip your backpack back up. I had like my wallet fall out once. Thank God I heard it go plop. Yesterday I heard my bottle of perfume go plop. So you just be careful. Make sure you're actually locking everything back up when you go through security because they're going to unzip it and they're not going to zip it back up. So make sure you don't, your valuables don't go flying out. All right. We made it. We're inside. We're good. Orlando's not the rain capital. It's South Florida, but close enough. <laughs> it's just a weird summer. It's one of the weirdest summer summers we've had in five years. Very strange. Oh, yes. We've got beautiful air. Can't wait for the... Awesome planet to open back up. It used to be the Timon and Pumbaa little environmental tail fable. Mm. Pot roast at Garden Grill, so good. Okay, sunshine season. Yay, nobody here. Mm -hmm. everybody doing? Do you have a good work day today? Yes. We're working off that giant tuna and beef salad bowl. It was so big. I'm like, oh my gosh, my belly. I ate too much. <laughs> but it was all good yum yum. That oh yeah, I'm almost done. I can't even <laughs> eat another. I can't even drink need a nap. <laughs> It's not like super skinny, it's more like a muscle tea. And it's very soft, but it does have a hood. And then of course I want with the flower ears today. Just cause they're very light, doesn't squish your brain. Bambi, yes, 
for Bambi today. Bambi, Bambi. Woo. Hey guys, hey, hey Faith. The Halloween party starts August 16th, Faith. Hey Wendy, hey Sean Jeff Sean. We've got Duran, Miss Wendy Christine, hey Beth, hey Daryl, we've got Miss Ruby, we got Peter, Dennis. Yeah, there's a dead spot right at loading, so when we get towards the boat, don't forget we have a dead spot there, and right on that first bend where the thunder and the lightning is. So just make sure y'all refresh, okay? <clears throat> Hey Jamie. Hey girl, hey. Hey two real geeks. How you doing? We got Mr. Todd. Always first Todd. Hey Kim, how you doing? Hello. Yeah, you know I go Genbot when it's laggy, so sorry. It's kind of like lack of signal. So if you're getting Genbot, we're good right now. It says it's showing all green over here, but the minute we get into loading, we'll have a little Laggy McLaggerton, just right around the corner there. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of this coffee before you yell at me. Have one, could I wait for Get it, girl. Thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Hey, Lynn, how you doing, girl? We're good, we made it inside the land, so. If it starts raining, at least we're delicious. Yeah, it was pretty slow at work today. Um, yeah, Melanie came to visit me and Steven, so that was fun. It's our usual hanging out on a Tuesday, but it was definitely slower. Um, if anybody's on property, on I'll, I'll tell, yeah, we're about to hit a dead. Uh, we'll have a dead zone right around the corner when we hit the lightning. So just bear with me, okay? It's all my pleasure. Of course. Uh, Mel goes out during the day. She gets too hot. She's been here. I've seen her almost every day, but you guys don't. Yeah, she um, she goes out early. She vlogs early in the morning. It's too hot for her. So she does work at night. So she like, you know, she goes home and, and works at night. It's just too hot for her in the afternoon. She goes out really, really early in the morning. Hey, Richard, how you doing? Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. Just refresh, guys. Sunlight created the first living systems of our planet. Hey Richard. Yeah, Mel just goes out early in the morning, that's all. She doesn't like to be out in the afternoon. She gets overheated. So she goes out early, early, One early in the morning. Is the Home to the most amazing concentration of life on our These dense and beautiful No, she goes out during the day, she comes to visit me. I see her all the time. <laughs> you guys don't. Yeah, she am. Um, plus, like, her, you know, like, she stays home at night because, like, you know, she does have a life outside of YouTube, so she spends time with her significant other at night because, you know, he's off at night. Just like I spend time with Rob, like, on Wednesdays and on the weekends sometimes. You know, you have to make time for your family and your significant others. It's quite important. <laughs> 
In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these no harsh words. conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. It was. It was not even. Yeah, that's like we can't. <laughs> the American prairie once we can't give the, the desert, those kinds of people any attention because they're just not good people. It's very unfortunate. I feel even bad for everybody that had to witness the that. There's Rooster Booster. Hi, Rooster Booster. To the American farm. And there's Rover. Hi. <laughs> Here's Rover. Just John know you're out here, Rover. <laughs> right, Kate, right? No, she just spends um she's she's at the parks early and she goes home like in the afternoon and work, so it's too hot. Of all the forces at work on the I work in the morning, so I always have to stream at night, you know what I mean? Unless I'm off, but lately you know they've been working me morning, noon, and night, but this week I'm back into my normal schedule, so we're back to our normally scheduled programming. So excited! It's Lance's friend, Baby Rooster Booster. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food. <laughs> it is real, very beautiful. Welcome, welcome, Texas. Here at Epcot, we're learning to reduce the need for pesticides by using natural predators like ladybugs and wasps to control pests. In Japan, we're mm -hmm. I always work. I always streamed at night because I always work days. Um, Melanie used to come out at night, but now she has to reverse her schedule because you know. She used to hang out with us at night because he worked at night. It's just people's schedules, but it's hot too during the day, so she goes up really, really early in the morning, and she's really she's done by five. She goes home by five. Yeah. I like working during the day and streaming at night with you guys. Like this is like my relaxed time with you guys, you know, and having dinner and watching fireworks with you guys. Yeah, I hate working at night, you know that. <laughs> Streaming is not work. This is like family time with you guys. This is, you guys are my, my happy place, my relaxation, my fun, and you know we get to do this together. I like working during the day because it forces me to get up. <laughs> Super duper early. I get up at like 4:30 every morning because I have to be at work by eight. Yeah. Sometimes I get don't get out of work till five, 4:35. Sometimes I get out earlier, so more more than usually. I get out earlier. Mm. What happened to the pineapples? I finally fell off. Look at the jackfruit, though. Aw, oh, thank you, Jamie. Well, I love you guys, too. It's fun. The tropics are home to the greatest Look at the jackfruit. They're the huge. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Oh, papaya. Mm. Thank you so much for subscribing, Texas woman. Welcome. Hidden Mickey right there. Do you see it? <laughs> right there. A peanut butter tree, what? All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are in nah. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Yes, thank you, Bananas. Hey, Epcot Bob, perhaps day, later on, perhaps. Known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the Here boat. we go, Bananas. More than 28 million thank tons you. of bananas 28 are million tons of bananas. Thank you, Bananas. Thank you, Bananas. 
Will y'all get up that early? I mean, we'll be rope dropping Galaxy's Edge. It's an overnight type of rope drop. Will y'all be up that early? I can do a rope drop one day, but I don't want to like stream and nobody's home, <laughs> you know? They'd be like, uh-uh, I'm still in bed. When you do extra, extra magic hours, it's like six in the morning. Normally it's like eight, seven or eight. Are y'all gonna be up that early? Oh, I get up at 4.30 every day, so yeah, you'd have to, <laughs> y'all were not going to be up if I stream that early. The only people up that early are our, um, our UK, Scotland, all of our UK Ohana. You guys are up early because this is late for you guys. Oh, he's a catfish on a mission. Where are you going, bud? Hidden Mickey in the tank. Oh no, are the shrimps? Oh, there they are. Mmm, you look delicious. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because the extra, extra magic hours is at six. Yes, absolutely. Exactly, me too, Beth. I'm up early. That's why I like working in the morning because it forces me to get up. And then I'm already here, so shucks. <laughs> kind of kill two birds with one stone you know I love the little garden they had one of these arches that was like more ornate for Kaylee's wedding we had it in Davy. she had it in Davy. it's called the living sculpture sanctuary I got a lot of pictures up on my Instagram if you guys haven't checked that out um, they had a lot of these arches it was so beautiful oh the sunflowers are not looking good Oh, thank you, Charlotte. A try, girl, a try. I took a lot of vitamins last week because I, otherwise I would have got sick. Plus, I stayed up late because we had like ODA and Jill here. I mean, I literally had three hours of sleep. But we must do what we must do, you know? I like it in the fall when we have the pumpkins, snow pumpkins, when we have the Mickey pumpkins, they're ma way, way cuter. Yes, you didn't Mickey lettuce. Exactly. <laughs> I'm barely awake. At 4 a.m., like, well, Riley, when I get up, she gets up. And then she's ready to play. I'm like, how are you ready to play? It's 4 a.m. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature. Uh -oh. Like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these we are boat jam, guys, look. We can increase yields and better control disease. <laughs> these crops taste I agree, Cheryl. Do the lobster best, Peter. You haven't had it yet. <laughs> innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required no, by I do not. growing methods. That saves water and increases yeah, that's production. Full boat. The aquaponic system on your left it's not combines just me. hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the oh. plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. We can it's do another great way to produce more. Coffee and rice. contemplation. We can do that in our lab. Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of populations. Hey, Annie. Welcome. Scientists, sure. farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Probably not today, I'm sure. Magic Kingdom too, but honestly, Epcot. Like I, I just, it, it's just very strong. The land, um, kitchen cabaret, you know, food rocks. Like my mom used to like to come to this pavilion. I think that's why I have. Most of my memories are in this pavilion. <laughs> we must have spent a lot of time here. 
but I do like it though. Oh, oh, for your super chat. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Where are you guys visiting us from? Oh, Lexington, Kentucky. You want to say hi to the Ohana? Hi, Ohana. We got new Ohana over here. But I'm, yeah, you know, I, I live stream three to five days a week, give or take. So right, from here. I'm from here. Yes, I'm local. I will always be here. So Mondays are usually Magical Monday at Magic Kingdom. Today's Tuesday, so we're thanking the Phoenicians today. It's Tuesday. I usually do Epcot. And, uh, you know, it, it depends. I do Universal, too. I'll do, like, a lot of different Orlando attractions. So, yeah. Well, thank you for being Ohana. Was that you guys who just subscribed? Please gather all so. the members Thank you. It was nice meeting you all. Oh, anytime. I appreciate you guys. Oh, new Ohana. I love it. All right. If it's not raining, we're, we're going to try to... We got a frozen fast pass and then we can go thank the Phoenicians. But if we are monsooning, we shall see. Does everybody look wet and rainy? No, not right now. Okay. We're gonna try to make a break for it. I don't think it's raining yet. Yeah, it's settling in nicely, actually. It's not, it's busy, but it's not like July 3rd and 4th crazy. Yay, new Ohana, I love it. I remember to bring cards with me today, I did. Yeah, I have cards in my pocket. Because I have new, sh well, a different pair of shorts. I need to just, I take them out when I wash them. And I forgot to put the, I always forget to put the cards back in, but I remember to put them back in last night. All right, it's not raining yet. I think what I want to do today is try to get on as many rides as possible just because it's kind of yucky out um, and it's not going to be that crowded so I, th I mean it is but it isn't so I think we're going to try to maybe do France tonight for fireworks I do love me the France like view also because it got a lot of speakers and it's up higher so I kind of like that vantage point too oh it is raining okay uh, not monsoon and it's a sprinkling. Uh, yeah. I mm, think it's a mild sprinkle. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's not bad. It's not bad, y'all. Alright, let's get this umbrella at the ready. Yeah, Epcot, I mean Epcot Test Track for sure will, is probably shortly going to be down or will be down if it um they don't run it when it's lightning because <laughs> ouch that would really hurt okay uh, we can try to do the living seas because that's always a walk on um we could do figment too even though that there's a lot of dead spots in figment is I just want to kind of ride as many rides as I possibly can. I'm in, ooh, ducks. Hang on. Let's try to do Living Seas. What time is it? Okay, we're good. We're good. We are on schedule. We are good to go. So we have time till our next one. Let's go do the Living Seas. Since this one tends to be a walk-on, you never really need to fast pass for this. Super good air conditioning, too. It's like freezing in there. Hey, where did my duck buddy go? Oh, duck tails, woo. Hi, ducky. What's up, bud? I don't have any food for you. Don't look at me like that. It's like, uh, where's my food? Oh, it's beautiful in France. Um, That's where we saw it for 4th of July. It's, it's good because all the extra fireworks, you know, the, um, the tags when they have the holiday tag, 35th anniversary tag, 4th of July tag, all the extra fireworks are shot from that end. So it's kind of great because it's right on top of you. Like you get like ashes in your eyeballs. <laughs> it's that close, but it's really good. That's where we saw it. Remember when we ran, it was the Ruby challenge when we ran from um, Hollywood Studios all the way to Epcot in 15 minutes and we ended up on the bridge it's i like the upper vantage point 
Plus, I don't want to stay out in the rain for two hours. So we'll just ride um, as long as we can and then just try to squeeze into France for eliminations because might as well. It's raining. All right. Hang on. Let me just close my umbrella. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's chilly in here. Oh, good. Hey, Sarah. I'm trying to catch up here with the dead spots. What are we doing? Hang on, I'm trying to catch up on her. <laughs> In a big blue world, yes, we're doing Nemo for sure. Oh, okay, yes, we're gonna do Nemo. In the big blue world, blue world, <laughs> it's just the end. Oh, less than 106,000. Let's do this, guys. Oh, that's fun, Michael. I'm so glad you were good. You got to see people. That's awesome. I sure hope. Oh, to do the Beverly Challenge? Oh, that's easy. We're, we're supposed to do that with Peter. Where is he at? <laughs> hey, Zachary. Trying to make sure. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I've done it before. You know, I'm a bartender. You can't scare me like that. It's not Goldschlager or... Uh, <laughs> You're not drinking Goldschlager or Jaeger. We're, we're good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it tastes like really bad tonic water. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to do it for the for a 6K, you mean? We'll do Beverly for a 6K. <laughs> hey, Zachary, how you doing? It's nice and cool in here. Feels good. We could do it. Uh, no, you cannot stream with Wi-Fi. Sometimes you could use it as an adjunct, but you absolutely do not use Wi-Fi whatsoever because Disney Wi-Fi is terrible. You can't even get the app to work half the time. No, you absolutely cannot stream with Disney Wi-Fi unless you have your own hotspot, like you pay for your own hotspot. Yeah, then, then you can do that, but that's you, <laughs> basically, yep. Perfect. Thank you. Nice and relaxing clamshell. Yeah, we're, we're really good until we get to um, underneath, when we're going underneath the tank. Just at the very end, where we actually sing Big Blue World, that's where I'll lose you. We'll stay pretty good until that section, so. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, chilling from the beach, Craig. How I'm jealous. <laughs> Nemo. Nemo, I am not going to lose you again. Do you hear me? <laughs> Nemo. 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 Where are you, son? <laughs> Nemo. Oh, no, not again. Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not drinking 60. I'm good. Yeah, no, no, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> I couldn't drink that many little cups of uh, Beverly. <laughs> That's a lot to drink in one sitting. Do we, can we go potty in between? <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We have a huge adventure together, which you don't remember at all. Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you, only smaller? Yes, have you seen him? Seen who? Hi, I'm Dory. I am Dory. <laughs> I'm Dory. I can have Oh, boing, 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 boing. Right. Okay, now I'm thinking of something. 
Jellyfish! You're good. And I'm thinking... Jellyfish! And the next one, Jellyfish! All right, Mr. Spoon. Stop playing there! 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 Oh, no fish. Stop fooling around! <laughs> Jelly, the fish is gone. It's not even like let up. Is that Chum? Chum stuck. He's been stuck. Oh no, is he working? He's sort of working. Not food. I wonder if clown fish taste funny. No thanks, I'm good. Why don't we have it? Tequila challenge. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, here we go. Go with the flow. <laughs> I don't sing it here though, but I do like the show. I do like the song. <laughs> oh, squirt. Oh, righteous. Righteous. I want to try. To the big, big, giant metal tunnel of water. Sea base alpha. It's still sea base alpha. Bye. Thank you. You too. Are the dolphins there? Are the dolphins home? Or are they not home today? No dolphins today. No dolphins. Just fish, yeah. No dolphins today. No dol. Oh, wait. I think I left my umbrella. Shoot. Um. I think I left my umbrella. Uh, ma'am, I left my umbrella. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm like my Shanghai umbrella. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was a Shanghai umbrella. Oh, I, I just got off though. Yeah. Um. Can you? I uh, yeah. Um. Well, how? Oh, over here. Oh, sorry, I left my umbrella. My umbrella, the Shanghai umbrella. Did you get it? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a Shanghai. She told me to come this way. So, oh no. Oh no, someone's well, gonna to there, pick my umbrella. <laughs> it's gonna be gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's not even checking. Somebody's gonna be, somebody's gonna take my umbrella because it's a Shanghai umbrella. Ugh. Shoot. Oh, you're awesome. I love you. 
all right, got it. I'm like, my umbrella, please don't take my umbrella. I'm like, I'm gonna be wet. We got it, we got it. Says I just got off, so I was like, oh my gosh, it's right there. I see it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Whew. I'm like, no, 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 no. I can't buy another one of these. All right, we're good, we're good. All right. It's a wet, wet day. It's a wet, wet day. Hey, Sam, how you doing, girl? Another wet and rainy day at Epcot. Ooh, mmm, that smells something delicious. From Coral Reef Restaurant, right here. I'm like, no, my umbrella. I'm a little attached to my Shanghai umbrella. <laughs> I love it, it's so pretty. Okay. So we have, we have Frozen next. So we'll have to go back to Norway and we'll have to come back to um, Spaceship Earth. <coughs> Doing good girl, working hard. I worked a lot last week and <laughs> I finally have a day off tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, I just worked a lot during 4th of July, tried to sh stream a couple of days, so we didn't get a lot of sleep last week, but we survived. We did it. <laughs> working, working, working. I took a lot of vitamin C and vitamins, just regular multivitamins, that way I didn't get sick. Mom's right about that vitamin C, though. I did like 5,000 milligrams a day. <clears throat> Because, like, that one day when I was at Magic Kingdom, too, I was, like, I could feel it. Like, my, my lymph nodes were getting swollen. But we're good. We survived. All right. Let's go right for Rosen. And then let's... And then we have to do um, Spaceship Barth. line 85 minutes oh my word everybody's at the character spot I'm oh, sorry Serena yeah it is <laughs> it's drizzling well, it just made it more sticky. It didn't go full monsoon. Ooh. Oh, there you go, making that money, girl. Making that money, Sam. Making those doll hairs. All right, well, cut, cut through mouse gear. There are dead spots in mouse gear, but at least it's dry. <laughs> the ground is pretty slippery. I should have worn my red shoes today, I wasn't thinking. Usually when it's raining and I'm at Epcot, I wear my little Helly Hansons because they're really grippy. They're like hiking shoes. All right, and I'm turning off the... Close the umbrella. Yep, the wet floor. Peace on the model. <coughs> Beautiful day. <laughs> Actually, hi. I'm enjoying the weather at least. It's not too bad. It could be worse. through over here a little bit. All the cute Lion King stuff, they have the headbands now too, kind of like Tokyo. 
So we're starting to get headbands. Um, I have a Marie one like that. Look how cute. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Cute. Haven't heard from him. I think he's in summer school. Kevin's in summer school. So he's he's been busy. We haven't really heard from him. He says hi every now and again, but doing that summer school auction. So, hey, you know, that's good. Got while you're motivated, right? Oh, I have nothing on. Looks like we still got plenty of Illuminations merch. I mean, t-shirts wise, so I think we'll be okay on the t-shirts. Do, 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 do. They're so cute. Yeah, getting great, great grades. Yeah, it's been busy with summer. Summer is always hard because it's such a short semester. You have to like, I took, I took summer term a couple of times and it was like, ooh. I'd only take one class though, not like trying to, I think I took psych over the summer. One of my psych classes I took over the summer. Yeah, I don't think test track is working. It, it won't, um, they usually, um, test track's usually down if it's inclement weather, cause you know, there's lightning. It's not good. <laughs> but normally I do love to ride, um, I love test track cause it goes fast. And it's kind of fun. It smells like fresh new car smell in there. It's delicious. Any duckies? Just birds. Cool. Oh yes, the Lion King is awesome. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, very, very frightening. <laughs> I know. It's Tuesday, so I'm like, I'm so glad I'm back on. I was back. I'm back on a day schedule this week. I'm working. But I'm just working days so I can go back to my regularly scheduled nighttime programming, which is the way I like it. Still deciding what we want to do tomorrow. Um, I was thinking maybe try to see if we can get on Hagrid's tomorrow. If we could do Wizarding World Wednesday tomorrow. Um... Yeah, I'll see what Rob wants to do, unless he wants to come to Disney and do pin trading, you know? The thing with the Hagrid's, it's only open, like, afternoon, and, like, because it still goes down. There's only eight trains on it at the moment. It's supposed to have a total of 12. Um, opening day, they only had six. <laughs> so, you know, it is hard to, you know, like, they can't get... The lines are still kind of long because they don't have all 12 trains on yet. One of my friend's husbands is a ride engineer, so he's working on Hagrid's. But that'll help once all 12 are on there. I know, we did think the bananas. Yeah, I haven't seen him too, like, because he's been busy, you know, I've been... He's been, I haven't seen him in, gosh, so long. I've seen Melanie, though, and Peter, and Tanya. The usual suspects. <laughs> uh, Jill and, oh, yeah, all of the, the Kinas, and Jill and Caesar and Kylie, and ODA were here not too long ago. So we got to see them for a little bit. Oh, there's duckies hiding in the bushes over there. Duckies hiding underneath the bushes. Yeah, 4th of July was crazy. Mm. I do not care to repeat that experience next year. <laughs> we will get a boat. That was nuts. And I, you know, it was uncomfortable. And yeah, I was, I mean, we were lucky. We were at least in the handicapped area. Bill was nice enough to let us join him over there. Because otherwise, he would have been body to body. It was so 
crowded. <laughs> the dance parties were awesome. Like I would definitely go watch it elsewhere, like Polly on the beach or in a boat and then, um, you know what I mean? And then just um, come back because the Magic Kingdom's open late and then do the dance parties after. But I definitely do, want, do not want to stand with 100,000 of my closest friends next year. We're going to get a better game plan. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, and then you can't do train track because they had um, VIP. That was the day. And that would be the day to spend, you know, <laughs> that kind of money. Heck, if you have that kind of money, definitely splurge. That would be the day if you're coming in at 4th of July or any major holiday. If you want to splurge and do VIP tour guide, that would be the day to do it because <laughs> you'll have prime spots for watching fireworks and stuff. She vlogs. Yeah, Mel vlogs. Sometimes she streams. It just depends because it gets really hot during the day. The problem with streaming during the day is the overheating. Yesterday I started at 4.30, or Monday, yeah, yesterday, <laughs> and we overheated within, what, 10 minutes? And it wasn't even like that, like if you, if you, if you stream during the day, you will overheat. That's why it's really, really hard. You gotta go super early in the morning and get out of there before noon, before like 11 or 12. You can't really stream, You're, you will just overheat. Right now it's just so hot. Yeah, it was it was hard, Polly, and it was hard, girl. It was hard. It was so sticky. People were not happy and cranky and very very sticky for sure. I do, I do sometimes. Um, Thursdays are usually open. It depends. It's not a specific day I do anything. I do work Thursday morning. Um, yes, I'm planning to do Disney on Thursday after work. Usually I try to, you know, after five. It's just safer. Right now, You, if you try to stream during the day, you will overheat within 10 minutes. Whew. Exactly, and end at 11. Yeah. Yeah, that's what most tourists do. If you come at Rope Drop, it'll be crowded. Because that's what everybody's doing right now because the kids have nervous breakdowns. It's too hot. 70 minutes for standby at the moment. Oh yes, your air conditioning is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so glad I have a fast pass because it is uh, 70 minutes right now. I do. Um, Bill had that fan for me yesterday that she, he lent me. That was um. He got for Cindy. Oh, I forgot to order it. I fell asleep as soon as I got home, but there is it. Yep. There's a neck one. There's a double neck one. There's one that clips to your pants. He's got that cute little handheld one. I think I'm going to order that one. That one was cute because it's really small and tiny, but it actually worked really good. It's packed in here, guys. Oh, you know what it is. I bet you a lot of people that had um, test track. Hey, Philip, how you doing? Hey, Marsha, how are you guys? Welcome. Oh, you did? I need to go do that when I get home. I, I went to bed because I had to. As soon as I got home yesterday, I had to go right to bed because I had to get up and, uh, you know, back at the grind. I do like it. it. It folds, but you can charge it with your micro USB or your, like your fuel rod. So it's really good because it's not um, huge. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones. They have them at Walgreens too, Amazon. 
I can't put anything too heavy around my neck because it does hurt my neck. So I, I'm pretty careful about wearing anything too much around my neck. But yeah, I've seen them. A lot of people have them. Um, the little handheld one is good. I can pop it in my pocket because it folds. And then it's like, you know, that's good. It's on a constant weight. You know, with my neck compression too, it's another it's another reason why I can't really put too many. Like even a lanyard, like when I go to Universal, because they don't have magic bands, you have to wear like your pass around your neck. If I put too much, like too many cards or money, or I try to stuff a bunch of stuff in the ID holder, it hurts my neck. <clears throat> Even just a, you know, a few little credit cards or like plastic cards, if it's too heavy, it just kills me. It's no fun when you're broken. But yeah, I've seen them. They, I, I'm definitely gonna get one for sure. Hey Sherry, how you doing girl? Hot in New York, oh boy. All that Florida weather coming your way, sweetie. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, dude, there's a bracelet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that little pink one that Bill had because it was pink. <laughs> it worked good. Plus, you can charge it. It said, was it two to three hours for a full speed and then like four to five hours for low? But it's fine. That's Those are good because you can use your fuel rod with it. Hello, Diego. How you doing? Happy Think the Phoenicians Tuesday. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please make sure you subscribe. Let's get it to 200 likes. Come on, get that thumbs up. Turn that phone this way. Click that like button. Give us a thumbs up for streaming in the rain. <laughs> it definitely helps us out. Oh, I bet it's hot. It's hot everywhere. If New York is hot, I bet we're just having a heat wave. It's so good that we have Fast Pass is definitely your friend. Thank you so much for Snack Fun. Sean, Jeff, Sean, I appreciate that. Thank you for your super chat. Much appreciated. You guys are amazing. It's for the fan fund. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll put it towards the fan fund. I love the little detail on the lanterns as well. It has like little Elsa's on it. It's kind of like the Frozen lanterns, but the Arendelle version. So cute. Oh wow, Kate. You're getting Florida weather too, girl. One, could I be in the back, like yeah, four, sure. so I'm not, yeah, that way I'm not in anybody's way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cutie. Okay, right over You're awesome, thank you. Yeah, the thing with this ride is if you sit in the front, the little arch of the boat is in your way, so you're like this, there's nothing, you can't see anything, so the back is actually my favorite because that way you have to be polite also anytime you're filming or streaming or anything like that I usually always sit in the back because you don't want to be in anybody's way hold things close to you I mean although you know he's in the front seat that's fine but you don't really want the front because this thing is in your way trial and error Awesome, I love Le Chef's de France. Although I have the lobster bisque there. Still like the one at the Boulangerie better. It's really good though. That beef beef bourguignon, that's the one that's that's the one to get there. That's the item to get at Le Chef's de France. That one's Tanya's favorite and Rob's favorite. The beef bourguignon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's so hard to pronounce. You're bound to get wet on this ride. Oh boy. Okay. Wee wee. Hey Zoe. Hi. 
manos y brazos y pies y piernas dentro del bote.
with a hatchet at the Overlook Hotel. Red rum, run, 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 don't be scared, no, no, no. <laughs> Love the shiny. And Zoe. Hello, hello. Hey, James. It's a shining hallway. <laughs> I'm living my best Halloween Horror Nights life and run down that hallway. Oh, mm. Art. <laughs> Trying to avoid the uh, traffic jam there. Hmm. It's time for some Layla. Oh, yeah. Let's spritz one. Okay, now we smell good. I am wearing Layla today, so it works out. I smell delicious. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Like a creepy picture of Olaf or some snowies or something. That's scary. Rob seems to be scared of the little baby snowman. He's like, that'd be scary if they had fangs. I'm like, well, they don't have fangs. <laughs> Silly. Oh, that's, it's Larry Dotson. Between him and Gearness, they always are in there. Okay. Let's go into Mexico to three caballeros. Hang on, let me put my umbrella away before I lose the umbrella. I wish I could spray it on some Taurus. The essence of Norway. Yes, James, yes. I like the gear too, though. The gear smells good. Rob actually bought the, um, they had a Han Solo and Carbonite cologne at, was it Box Lunch? I think it was. He bought it. It smells good. They have a Han Solo and Carbonite cologne. It's it smells delicious. I promise. It's delicious. <laughs> it's better to smell good than mm -hmm. stinky winky. Exactly. Now I got I got I've got the uh, you know the Dove spray and the Bath and Body Works all the time. If anybody needs it, I'm good. They do sell the mini Dove now, Dove deodorant spray for girls, and they have the Dove extra for men's. So, ain't no shame in carrying that. Better to smell good than be offensive. I'm right here. Yes. Halloween is amazing. It's not too spooky. It's really, really not so scary. Mm -hmm. Tour groups out here already. France it is. gonna go visit my main squeeze oh no more tour groups no stay over there nope 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 not today oh no run <laughs> they're right behind me it is late that's for sure I love villains after hours, totally worth it. Definitely a lot of old school music and then blended in with some Drake. You know, they would play some old school rock and roll, you know, and then they would blend it in with like two days music. So I, th I thought it was great. It's basically if Disney did Halloween Horror Nights without the, um, what do you call it? Without the scare zones. That's exactly 
what Villains is like, but walk on and everything, totally worth it. Later at night, there is no, like, not stress, but there's no, um, crowds. Yeah, is there a tour group coming? Oh, yeah, there's a tour group coming. Scary. Oh, that was it. DJ Spinny Spin. He's great. Hey, Linda, how you doing? I rob a snowman. <laughs> I love Grand Fiesta Tour. Anything that's a boat ride, my jam. I love the smell of bromine. It's so delicious. It does. It officially starts at 10. I mean, if you're a pass holder, so you can come in whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. It did. It doesn't start till 10, so they don't do, like, the dance party and all of that because they're so busy, like, sweeping the park. But we did it the very first night. It's on this channel, so we do have the very first Villains After Hours, and we did it. Hello. How you doing? Mm. Very, very bad. They travel in packs of 30 to 50. A lot of chanting involved. If they're nice and polite, it's not a problem. <laughs> Doing awesome, Linda. How are you, sweetie? Oh, Aubrey, come on, baby. Yes, the flag people. There's a lot more of them in the summer. I'm shocked. I don't normally see them in the summer. They usually come in January and February. So this is new, seeing this many in the summer. Oh, you know why? Somebody had told me, like, Brazil had switched over to trimesters. So they basically do year-round school. That's why the tour groups are here, like in the summer. They're not normally here, but they have now switched over to, trimes to trimesters. Makes sense. Totally makes sense now. We are inside Mexico Pavilion. This is kind of our closest thing we have to a blue bayou like in Disneyland, but this is the San Angel Inn. There are two table service restaurants here in Mexico. One outside is the Hacienda de San Angel, and this one is the San Angel Inn. So if you want to make a reservation inside Mexico, in the pyramid, you have to do the San Angel Inn. <laughs> make sure you don't get the wrong one. Yes, it's a... Uh, Aw, oh, you're welcome, Linda. Oop, oh, don't want to get caught in the stanchions here. We're moving along. We are getting on the Grand Fiesta Tour. There's a dead spot coming up right in the middle of this queue right here, so just bear with me, like right in the middle here. Dead zone, don't ask me why. It's just weird. Oh, it's packed today. Everybody's like getting their guacamole. It was good. I've eaten here a couple of times, but I always get the beef salad, so I'm kind of boring. So, hey, how are you guys? <laughs> Is it delicious? Yum? I'm like, mmm, smells good. <laughs> hey, we've got Ohana eating. That's so awesome. I love it. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, no. Well, hey, guys. Thanks for saying hi while you're having dinner. <laughs> that was so sweet. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. I couldn't eat another thing, <laughs> but I just had my delicious tuna bowl, beef bowl. It was so good. But it smells good. Oh, the air works really good today. Oh, yes. Jose, Donald, and Panchito. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you so much. Made it myself. <laughs> 
Oh, the air feels so good right now. Mm. Hashtag here for the AC. Oh, awesome, Jamie. Sounds good. I always get the beef salad. Why? I need to try some actual, like, enchiladas or the queso fundido is really good. I've had the queso fundido. Had a chip because I can eat cheese. But the, the queso fundido is yummy. Um, I got the short ribs, I believe, across the street at the Hacienda de San Angel. They had a short rib there. We ate there during uh, the Everclear um, Eat to the Beat. We did a lot of dining packages during um, during food and wine last year, especially like Blue October. We did it for MPH, for Neil Patrick Harris as well, for Candlelight Processional, because we wanted to make sure. Keen says, yeah, there um, it's a lot of guys and girls. Yeah, we got Keen says too, and I think they now have the trimesters. I didn't know that. That makes total sense. Oh, I had the um, I had the asaki. It's the the bowl over at Disney Springs because it's also ran by the Mitsukoshi, which is the Japan Pavilion. They serve the same sushi grade tuna, beef sukiyaki, delicious. They have like a kale, very hearty kale salad base or jasmine rice, whatever you want. But it's like to me the like, are you sure? This is keto, it's so good. And I got avocado, cucumber, seaweed salad, and then I use the spicy poke sauce. It's only one carb. Oh yeah, it's good. But it's a lot of meat, like it's huge. I mean, it fills you up. I don't need to eat again till tomorrow. <laughs> Get it? But Mexican food is so easy to keto too, guys. Just don't eat the tacos. Or you can make the cheese. You fry up like Parmesan cheese and make it into a taco shell yourself. It's Or just do a taco salad like we do at um, Pecos Bells, you know? Just kind of make a taco salad with no shells. So good. Mmm, steak tacos sounds delicious. That's what Rob loves. He loves steak tacos. I'll do like the ground beef or like, I like that. Can one, can I do one? You're the best girl, you're the best. They know me so well. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Aw. They remember? Uh. Oh, I gotta lean back. This is like a... Steak taco sounds good. Adios, gracias. <laughs> hey Timothy, how you doing? Awesome. Well, you gotta squeeze in some fun in those work trips too. It's a super rainy day here at Epcot. Just gonna visit, doing all the boat rides today. We did all the, pretty much all the boat rides. We did Frozen. We did Living with the Land. We're doing the Grand Fiesta Tour in El Rio del Tiempo, the river of time. Yes. I thought it was gonna monsoon, but it didn't. We just had a little sprinkle. They didn't light up our little guy over here. Yes, they're all a little pricey. I mean, it's Disney prices, you know? But it's fun. It's, it's as close to um, Blue Bayou as we're going to get. Is this a root canal? Chillaxing. Sarape. Oh, 
there's Donald. Hey, Donald. Mm, yep, the fundido is delicious. Queso is muy delicioso. <laughs> Donald's flirting with the ladies. No, thank you for saying hello. I hope your dinner is delicious. Thank you for saying hello. <laughs> that was nice. It's fun, Ruby. It's so fun. Oh, Rob's favorite little doll is working. He likes the little guy in the blue. You guys have a good dinner, Lydia. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, Sarah, you gotta do it. It's so fun. Through that song. Hey, 
remember to stay until the boat reaches the dock. Then gather your belongings and exit to the right. Oh, have a nice day! We just have to sing through it because it's a copyright song. <laughs> It still may have gotten it, you never know. <laughs> the the dock. Then gather your belongings Ooh. and exit to the ended. Hey, hey! Hasta la vista! I have not seen Donald. He's too Remember busy to flirting with the ladies. The boat reaches the dock. Then gather your belongings and exit to the right. And exit to the right. Donald is like Nemo. He's naughty. He's just like missing. Everybody's got their Illuminations ears on. I got a pair because I didn't want to have regrets. Thank you. Thank you. Till next time. Thank you. Yes. I hope it's not raining. Oh, hey guys, how was dinner? Good. Was it good? What'd you get? I got the, uh, the crown, uh, Oh, everybody's asking what's good there because I only ever get the salad. I'm boring. So I'm like, I don't know. We gotta ask them what's good. The coco flan is really good. The coco flan? Yeah. Okay. I had the, and I do, they have the queso fundido with this one too, right? Like for appetizer, but you didn't get it? Yeah. It's good. Okay. Yeah. So the shrimp you said was good? Yeah. Okay. For dessert, uh, the cheesecake is really good. Cheesecake? Okay. Well, there you go. See, they can tell you what to get. People want to touch the water so bad. I know people getting yelled at because they're sticking their hands in the water. I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, let's do this. I know we went to last year, but it was really I know. It was like a year ago already. Yeah. Wow, time flies by. Okay, ready? One, two, three. There we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Last year we had a guard. Yes, you got to go with the flash. We're not on a ride. We're good. I love the shirts. Thank you. Awesome. I love it. Did you make it all? Look how beautiful. All the different bling on. You got rose gold and green and so coordinated that way you can find everybody. You'd be like, yep, they're wearing a yellow shirt. Looks like this. <laughs> exactly. It was nice seeing you guys again. Bye. Oh, thank you. See you guys next time. Camarones. Oh, yes. Yeah, sounds. Oh, we get a lightsaber. We're ready, huh? We are ready. We're going to defend the galaxy against the Sith invasion. I love it. Puerco. Oh, yes. Carnitas. Yum. Can't threaten me with a good time. I like it all. <laughs> Food is so hard. Oh, Disney fountains. I, I love Disney fountains. They're super fun. All right. Now we're going to go thank the Phoenicians. It is time to go on Spaceship Earth. It is time. Oh, is it raining? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a little sprinkly. A little sprinkly. Back to Spaceship Earth. Yeah, I had to move it. It was our first fast pass, but we ran late, so we moved it. Everybody's getting their margaritas. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Lori. Hey, Dylan. Just keep talking about food. Sean, Jeff, Sean's making us all hungry. <laughs> Turgibs to the left. Turgibs to the left. Don't be scared. I'm going to protect you, okay? 
Oh, more tour groups. Oh my. Now we'll, we'll do a shortcut. Let's go this way. We're, we're going to head for the ball. All right, making dinner and having a cocktail. You, that's, that's the way to do it, Nancy. That's the way to do it. You deserve it after a long day at work. I hope it's something delicious. A little martini, a little Mai Tai. What are we making? A little handcrafted cocktail, perhaps. Muddle some strawberries, throw a little orange slice in there, maybe. A little Moscato, a little agave. Mm, delicious. I made a really good one for Mel today. That was kind of like, got a lot of fruit. Mocktails, they do really good mocktails too, with just fresh fruit. It's really, really good. Oh, they're chanting. That's why I avoid the flags. <laughs> they're chanting, they're chanting. I have a margarita, but oh, yum, margaritas for you. Well, you can make anything if you have a blender, that's great. You know, as long as it's pretty well balanced, if you pretty much keep like a two one one ratio, like let's say you're gonna do two ounces of whatever liquor you're gonna put in there, vodka, rum, tequila, and then do a one and one, one ounce of, you know, like a two one one ratio, you will have a pretty well balanced cocktail. So whatever mixer it is, it's, it's like two parts, whatever alcohol you're putting it, one part, like your citrus usually, your juice, whatever it is, lime juice, lemon juice, and then another part, either agave or simple. Delicious. And then if you throw in fresh fruit there even, mm, yum. Yeah, I'm lucky I work at a bar that doesn't have a blender because we're a craft bar. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, at home, that's what you have the blender for. Or pool bars here have that machine so it comes out. But yeah, it's a blended drinks are kind of hard. <laughs> Unless you have a, uh, like, a um, like the Oasis machines, which a lot of the pool bars have at Disney. Yeah. <laughs> blender drinks are very time consuming and I never quite come out right with the mix. I'm very lucky, both of my bars. One of them has a blender, but we rarely use it. And homecoming, we don't even have one. <laughs> so we got lucky there. Well, we're a craft bar, so we muddle, we blend, we shake. Oh, test track's back up and running. I hear it. Peach Bellini, that's easy. Oh, I make a really good old fashioned. What kind of bourbon do you like? Like some Woodford, some Basil Hayden's, maybe some Angel's Envy, Booker's Baker's. What do you like? Blanton's? I know she was trying to run me over. We just gotta move really fast and that's all. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I like, like frozen drinks are great. Like if you can make them yourself, but most of the restaurants have um, the Oasis machine. So you don't really have to worry about it. Like they don't have to individually blend each thing. But the Margaritaville blender is good. I had, a, one of my friends did have that too when I was in Vegas. Theirs are great for margaritas, it's perfect. Because a margarita, yes, it is good frozen. Oh, oh the air is delicious. Oh, I'm just gonna stand under the vent for a minute. Yeah, Mel really likes this one. Oh, it's a thicker plastic. I just... No, I know, girl. <laughs> no, no. I'm just telling you, like, you know, so you learn, like, if you wonder why the bartender is giving you funny looks because you ordered a blended drink, <laughs> that's why. See, I love this. They don't have it for XS Max. They only have it for an 8 and a 7. Ooh, Tiki Room. Cute. I just ordered uh, an otter box, like a clear one like that, but the glitter one, I forgot what it's called, for the days that I don't stream. Um, I can switch it up on this. I just got a clear glitter one. Love that where dreams come true. Walt Disney World X and XS. There's one for an XS Max. They have a few. Oh, here's one too. The 3D effect one, that's pretty cool. 
I just, I like, I'll, my phone is so pretty, I never just get to see it, though. It's always covered. See, they're out of the illuminations one. They, they still have these. <laughs> they never sold out of the uh, Mickey Mouse flower and garden ones, so they're still back there behind the register but they I'm glad I bought that illumination one illuminations one because it's gone yeah the aerial ears are here they've been here they're pretty they're kind of like a faded um oh that one's wonky oh dear oh these bows are all kind of wonky you gotta find one that isn't all weird oh yeah with Disney ears try them all on because you know some of them are tighter than others they have aerial on the side some of these bones are just wonky yeah you definitely have to make sure you find one doesn't have a weird bow or crooked because they're like made in bulk so be very a lot of weird bows that one's good there's a good one right there that one's straight but these are all a lot of them the left side of the bow is kind of weird so always inspect your ears because they tend to be kind of weird you have to make sure don't just grab one Try them on. They're, some are looser than others because you don't want to get a migraine an hour into wearing your ears. Disney ears tend to run tight. Yes, wonky bows or wonky seams. Did they finally get a five in? Nope, six. Still don't have my size. That's cute. I thought it was like Sailor Moon for a second, but it's Peter Pan. Oh, that's adorable. Part of your world. We shop later. Hello, how you doing? All right. Ornaments are buy one, get one 40% off. Oh, the shot glasses. Remember, we don't sell shot glasses at Disney. They're toothpick holders. You thought I was kidding about that, right? You thought I was kidding about the shot glasses? They're toothpick holders. Mm-hmm. Toothpick holders. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. We got Germany, Norway. A lot of the, um, the country-themed glassware are on sale. 40%, that's a deal. Yeah, these don't work as good. They're super adorbs, but they don't really like, they're, they're okay, they're okay. The little one that Bill got, like, works. This one's pretty good. This one isn't bad. Yeah, that one's working pretty good. <laughs> I tried another one and it wasn't working. Ah, oh, it does feel good, but they have these and they go around your neck, they're $12.99. You just have to make sure you have one that works. Yeah, they're all just a Sunday. They're all out of the dull whip ones and the um, ice cream bar ones. Is it raining again? Can't win with this weather today. It's raining. Hang on. Sprinkly, sprinkly, sprinkle. Is it sprinkling? Yeah, it is. Oh, look at the puppy. Hi, puppy. Toothpick holder. Mm-hmm, that's right, Cheryl. It's in quotes, girl. You thought I was kidding, right? When I kept telling you guys that, that we don't sell shot glasses here, the toothpick holders. You thought I was kidding. No, not kidding. <laughs> Your toothpick holders. Silly. Yes, it is sprinkling, sprinkling. Let's go thank the Phoenicians. It is that time.
little shower? Oh, goody. Sprinkly, dilly, sprinkly, sprinkly, sprinkly. It's all about the sprinkles today. More flags. What is going on with our lives today? The never ending parade of flags. Just say no. There's so many. You have 15? Yeah, these are king size because they're all 15s. Totes, my goats. It is very, um, yeah, make sure you have good non-slippery shoes because it is very, very slippery. And Epcot floods. It floods very, very easily. It didn't rain, it didn't rain hard enough that it did, but it, it does. But right over there by the land in between, like, Interventions East, yeah, it, it gets, I've, I've sloshed through the puddles, and that's why I've just been wearing my UFO shoes because at least they're mesh, you know, if I'm going to get drenched anyway. For real. <laughs> Nick's going to walk around with a flag. But you got to get a pink backpack too. Matching t-shirts. <laughs> so he said we're going to carry our own Ohana flag, man. <laughs> Why not? I'll take this weather any day over that heat though. It's not bad. It is a uh, balmy 80 degrees. Look at that. Word. It's good. It's good. Twenty-five minutes for standby. Yay, we get to speak the Phoenicians Tuesday. It's been a hot minute, so I'm, I'm so glad. Am I early? I think, okay. I'm a little early, look I'm early, you guys. Early for a fast pass. Oh, what? Uh, I had to change it, so yeah. <laughs> Didn't run out of rides, so. <laughs> it's our last one for, with the pass. Umbrella business. Always oh, fixing the umbrella. Mmm, it's that machine oil smell of Spaceship Earth. Delicious. I'm ready for Rome burning though. <laughs> That's hilarious, Nancy. No, seriously, we should do it. <laughs> oh, her sandals are so cute. They're shiny. Was it? Maybe. There are dead spots on this ride, four, four of them, so just keep refreshing. Caveman, spaceman, caveman, spaceman.
Um, sure. Please take small children by the hand. Any test track? Is there a test track, Todd? If there's test track, let's do test track. See if you can refresh and find me a test track. Because that'd be fun. Please take small children by the hand and watch your step on the moving platform. Yes, double digits, Robert. That's fun. See if you can get me a test track. I would love it. Or I can just do single rider. All the single riders, all the single riders, all the single riders. I have the need of full speed. No keto desserts at the park. They were. Right there in the front, watch your step. Thank you kindly. Yeah, they used to have a brownie. It's the OMG, it's gluten free. And it was sugar free brownie, but no, they switched to a different brand that's uh, probably more cost effective. Smaller, same price, but 45 grams of carbs. Gotta bring your own treats, so. Um, yeah, bring your own fat bombs or buy sugar free candies. Um, the Albanese sugar free gummy bears are excellent. Trader, Trader Sam's, Trader Sam's, Trader Joe's has the Simply Light, L I T E, candy bars, which are like totally saved my life when I first started keto or anytime I restart, because when my sweet tooth kicks in, the first month you still have it. Once you're in it, like a, once you're in two or three weeks, it's gone. Um, but yeah, it'll definitely get you through the hump, especially as ladies who have hormonal needs for chocolate and such. Simply Light will be your, will be your life. For your safety, remain seated at all times. Yes. During your slow-moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back. Uh, we're probably not going to get a picture. We never get one. Nobody loves us. Atlantis. I tried Atlantis last time. It didn't work. <laughs> Jason Momoa, king of the ocean. Chocolate, hey girl. Yeah, that's simply light. Mm, I never get a picture, so we'll see. Wobble. Judy! Oh, it was running. Oh, he went down again? Watch out for dead spots, just refresh. Ooh, it's hot. AC's not working. Yes, girl, chocolate. It will. It's so dark in here, I can't even see anything. Rob right there with his little 
Egyptian pharaoh hat. Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been yes. Okay, we're going to hang out in Egypt for a minute. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Hanging out in Egypt with Cleopatra and the Pharaoh. Yes, playful spooks. More go go boots lady. <laughs> I never realized how many like little um, ornate designs are on his um, crown. He's got all these different little, I think they're cobras. Yeah, they're snakes. so close to the Phoenicians. Work was good, girl. I got to see Melly Welly. We had a Melly and uh, Stephen came up for a little bit, but yes. I got to see my Melly Welly. It was good. At this point, each civilization has its own form of writing, which none of the others can understand. But the Phoenicians hey, Dina. Hey, girl. Hey. The Greeks. The Greeks were great invasions of the future. Uh -huh. And then they build their armies around. They build a system of roads oh, all over the world. Oh, it smells so good. Rome, built the first worldwide web. So and it's leading us to delicious. Do you smell Rome burning? I know you do. You can smell it. Get that candle out. Get it out and smell it. It smells good. Rome. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning no. is destroyed, lost forever. Hey, JC. Oh, so cool. Mmm, it smells so good. Delicious. Yay! Books are saved! Hey, Christine. Oh, raining in Winnipeg, too? Hey, AJC. In the meantime, here in Europe, monks toil endlessly recording books. Thank you. Oh. Nappy time. Hey, Gutenberg. Mmm. Yes. That's what's very fun. Gutenberg invented the movable type printing press. Yay. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books. Look. It's John and Patricia. Hey guys. Hey Ray J. The Renaissance. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you for your super chat. Definitely appreciate the Starbucks fund. Iced guava white tea is in our future. Hey Michael. Beautiful masterpiece you've created. Sounds delicious, Tanya. Sounds good, girl. Sounds good. I gotta figure out a day when I'm gonna see you, cause you know I, I I still have your mango stash. I swear I haven't eaten them yet, but you need to try these mangoes. I mean, they will change your life. They're so. Good. Oh, you broke it. Wow. Young people with a passion for shaping the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Who broke it? Who broke it? 
Together we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance. Got crickets. <laughs> well, we do have crickets. We're about to enter the garage. Wouldn't we all want to go back to that time when they were creating IBM, Apple, make friends with Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, all the Steves. Spaghetti for everyone. No, I ate it. What? Yeah, salmon is delicious. Oh, Rab's, Rob is, yeah, he's eating all the mangoes. He said, like, mango juice just dribbling everywhere. Like, mm. It's good. Oh, Riley likes them too. Because I made sure I looked to see if I could feed the dog mangoes. She likes mangoes too. We found out Riley Ray likes mangoes. She pretty much, ooh, Stranger Things. <laughs> exactly. Oh no. The Matrix. Where's Keanu? Or Neo? Do Kaboom? Oh. <laughs> yes, we Canada. <laughs> He's got the coolest lines. I hope they use more Keanu. He's funny. He was really funny. It was probably my favorite breakout character for Toy Story 4 is Duke After Kaboom. 30,000 years of time travel, here we are. Yes, Canada's greatest stuntman. Yes, we Boys Canada. The future of this, our spaceship Earth. Yeah, you know, that's the rumor that Keanu is a vampire who doesn't age. You are I'm now like, rotating backward for your return to Earth. That's when you're Polynesian. That's when you're thankful that you have Asian genes, like part Asian. Because, you know, he's like, what, 54, 52? Like, he's in his 50s. Like, oh, wow. He just, you know, that's one of those... 10 times, watch the video here on YouTube, it's 10 times Keanu Reeves broke the internet. Like you have your sad Keanu. He's just funny, like there's so many funny things. The choices we have made but he really does he's aged so well. I've been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, Yes, we can it all. <laughs> yeah, with John Wick. Yeah, he, he just looks good. Like he's in his 50s. I think it's 54? 54? 54 I was watching is crazy. The future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? Uh, we'll do work. We've done a lot of that lately. Too much. Um, we'll pretend the country. The country of. Well done. Now, along with your answers, let's add in some amazing new technology that we happen to know about. Refresh. Get dead spots. Well done. The screen kept going out every time I hit a speed bump. I don't think we're even going to get a photo, but we'll see. And now I believe your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. Got no picture. Told you. In the future, the country will I get be a nothing. great place to work. Oh, Innovative broken. office buildings will be media-rich environments. Keeps going out. <laughs> with global networking and the latest digital tools to turn your dreams into reality.
Need to be somewhere? No problem. Just pack up and go. You'll be able to keep working on a commuter train that runs on magnetic force. Oh, look, it keeps going out. Your team is always available for brainstorming, even while you commute. Thanks to super high-speed networks that turn your vehicle into a mobile office. Yeah. Who knew that board meetings could be such a blast? Time to relax, but if you live to work, you can keep an eye on your projects with video streaming digital display glasses that bring your messages to news. This just in, looks like it's going to be a great big beautiful tomorrow. Uh -huh. The end. Or should I say the beginning of your future. Okay. To the next 30,000 years of space you While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure. An adventure that will make oh. and make all these the loud noises. <laughs> see you in the future. It's like Spaceship Earth is having a come apart. I got no picture, nobody loves us. Refresh, y'all, refresh. Bubblegum wall. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, the struggle is real in that ending part there. I need to put this backpack or this backpack away. I need to put the umbrella away for now. For fireworks, why am I so tired? <laughs> Go hang out by France, let's see what's going on. After all, this is France, and the dinner here is never second best. Let's put the umbrella away. go to the little streamers room we'll go to this one inside here real quick the super secret one the not so secret secret one that has the air conditioning oh i can't win today i cannot win Following me. Wow. Will it open? Oh, it's not going to open. It's going to make me go all the way around.
Okay. Oh, we'll do the character spot since we have a. Um, hi. Um, can I run to the restroom before my fast pass? Is that okay? I know it's on the other side, right? There's one right over here. I'm like, all that Starbucks is just calling me. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, let's go to the little streamer's room in here, and then we'll go hit up Nikki because we got the fast pass to the, the character spot, so let's just do that since we're right here. So weird without a festival. It's just weird. No beer stand. We've got Noah. <laughs> Neon cotton candy stuff. All right, let's go. I'm going to run to the little streamer's room, and then we'll go see Mickey and friends or test track, whatever you all want to do. It don't matter to me. Uh, BRB. They followed me into the bathroom. You think I was kidding? They were all in there. I'm like, no, they're following at me. Yeah, well, let's, we can do test track, then we'll just wing fireworks. Is that all basically by the time we get out, we'll just, wherever we're at is where we're gonna watch fireworks. It's okay, because it's rainy anyway. So yeah, let's do it. They're following me. They're following me. Oh my gosh. I went in there and there's like 60 of them. I'm like, no, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm being stalked. <laughs> it's okay. Try, try, trying to avoid them, but they keep following me. Just refresh, y'all. Ah, much better. Little streamer's room. All good. All good. So weird. Epcot festivalists. Why are they everywhere? <laughs> we can't win. Bing bong, bing bong. All the children. That's okay. All, all the tour groups are following us. I'm just trying to escape. Followed me into the bathroom. I'm like, no. <laughs> I think it's different groups of the same, the pink backpack people, the kids, the 15s. No, I'm good, thanks. Illuminations, reflections of Earth. There you go. Farewell 2019.
Yeah, it'll be, by the time we get out, it'll be like fireworks time, and we'll just watch it from test track. You know, we're just going to do our thing. No, girl, they're following me. Seriously, you went to that secret bathroom. There they were. I'm like, seriously? They're stalkering me. <laughs> but really, I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. Not. <laughs> we're good, we're good. So weird. Ooh, it's coming along. Guardians of the Galaxy Coaster. It's coming along. It is coming along. Will be the largest indoor coaster once we're complete. Oh yay, it is running again. Must be no thunder in the area. Or lightning, I mean. Fifteen minutes, it says, all right, let's do this. Very nice. That sounds like fun, Logan. Oh, are you sure that's fifteen minutes? Why are there so many people? Fifteen minutes for single rider. All the single riders, all the single riders, all the single riders, put your hands up. <laughs> I know, I do it every time. Oh yes, air conditioning is lovely. it up as well as we normally can but we're gonna try this does not look like 15 minutes to me we'll see I'm gonna 
park myself in the corner. It is gonna be a hot minute. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on the floor. Because we are not gonna be moving anytime soon. People are on single rider, but they're all together. <laughs> It'll be fun. Thank you so much, Steve. <laughs> yes, we will be hitting up that Starbucks here shortly. Thank you, thank you so much. Steve, much appreciated. Kaden. Hey Robert. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. The old test track. Yeah. It was fun too though. We get AC though, so that's a good thing. That's awesome, Steve. Sounds like a plan. So make sure we see how long we are with this line. Well, because there's a lot of people on single rider that aren't single rider, but yeah, now it's packed. You got um, fast pass over there on that side, but we didn't have a. Yep. It is. Yeah, 
Yeah, Disneyland also had a limit. Like, if you had a resort reservation, they only let 3,000 people in at a time. We don't have that luxury here. I wish they did, but they're not. The Extra Extra Magic Hour start the day after on the 1st. Or, like, you know, the day after opening day. So, yeah, they're not limiting Galaxy's Edge and Disneyland. They were limiting, like, you had a time, and it was, like, 3,000 people at a time. Yeah. It's going to be a free-for-all a little bit. That's awesome, Kaden. Oh, hey, Joe. How you doing? Glad you said hello. They don't deliver wine. Oh, dang, Ruby. Shenanigans. What about Postmates? Does Postmates deliver wine? You never know. They deliver everything. Like, they even go to, like, Walgreens and stuff. Will they Postmates wine? Who's track? Yeah, we're inside. Waiting to get on test track. Mm, but at least we're inside air conditioning, but we're just not moving. Yeah, you never know. They deliver everything, you know? I mean, you can Postmates Starbucks, so why couldn't you Postmates wine? I'm just saying. Check rubes, you never know. Postmates delivers everything for the most part. <laughs> it wouldn't be the old silly, then it wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> you guys crack me up sometimes. I know I want to be down there. We got we, we really couldn't like customize our vehicle, it was like reggae vehicle. It's like here's nine, pick one. We don't get a utmost, we don't get the utmost customization. But at least we have air conditioning, so that's a good thing. Uber Eats? Oh, they do? Yeah, I mean, I, it depends on the area, and it depends on the rules in your state, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure, because it is liquor. I know they'll, like, you can post meat Starbucks, stuff like that, like even at Walgreens. But I don't know, per se, per se package liquor. Because that's a different license, you know what I mean? No, not liquor, because liquor, you require a license. You have to have, um, to dispense liquor, you have to have like a responsible vendors class. There's some sort of variation of that for each state. And then if you're delivering liquor, that's a package license versus a retail license. Like you going up to the bar to buy a drink, that's a retail license. You can't, that's why you can't buy like, oh, can I get a bottle of moonshine at the bar? No, because that's a different license. That's a package license. That's totally different. Deliver Starbucks on Postmates. I mean, depending on where you're at. But yeah, why not? Whose fault's that? That's why there's a giant one because I cut it open. Are you sure that isn't your other chin? No, okay. I actually cut it open. Not me. Just refresh. You idiot. That was your fault for surname.
Carpeted walls, it's so soft and squishy. <laughs> AC in here, so we're good. We got air conditioned, air conditioning. Dang. I wish I wish I wish it was like there's other people that time here and I can fly. Yeah. I have one of them. Only if the boy that has money or more, I could have shut the window. I should have won. I said me now. Give me sleep because at least it's cold. It feels good in here. single rider. Yeah, fast pass always moves fast. That's why we always have a fast pass. <laughs> I never do standby, but there's just, normally single rider moves pretty quick, but there's a lot of families in single rider. We're almost there, though. We're getting close, we're getting close. I'm gonna pay someone about like $20 to go up here and pull that in the neck. Yeah. I'm gonna do that for what? Or we'll watch the television so you get something to look at and you're not like looking at people. There's not much to look at, but we'll look at the TV. Fight <laughs> John. Move all the way across. <coughs> Isn't David Rainey in your grade? Nah, no, he's a wrestler. He's a weird dude. Buckle up, Buttercup. He hangs out with smart kids. He was in like fourth grade, so we should He hangs out with smart kids. Hey, Jelly. I saw his brother. Yeah, in high school, he's not going to play the board position. I don't know if he's going to play the board 
for a hot minute. and we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. We're just gonna end up where we're gonna end up. Plus it's raining out there anyway. You don't wanna be like sitting out there all miserable like.
nice. Get it, Ruby. <laughs> I did it for like a second. But I did, I did. You know me so well. Oh, the AC is so good in here. It's making me sleepy. It's sleepy time. It's been a long work week, y'all. La estación de control de cinturones de seguridad está a la vuelta de la esquina. Por su seguridad, mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo y cuida a los niños. So I won't be getting it because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it, it said it's at Mouse Gear. It's a limited release, not a limited edition. It's cute though. We will begin with the capability test mm. to see how your vehicle designs perform in challenging like weather and surface conditions. Monitoring road oh. surface. It's a new driver. Connecting to on star. Yeah, I only get the ones in the boxes now, David, just because, you know. It's cute, though. Whee! <laughs> A new driver. Too much work. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sports. There we go. Hey, Emma. Whee! Did I win? <laughs> Capability test results displayed. Ooh, and I came in second. Go now me. Now let's see how your vehicles uh -huh. compare when it comes to their efficiency. We're like the big truck, green truck. That's us. Scanning the same car for optimal eco efficiency. Hi guys. See you guys over there. Yeah, it was cute. Calculating total impact. I'm in last place. I am not a 
an efficient vehicle because what? We have the need for speed. Uh, not a making responsiveness <laughs> test. Okay. Responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Mm. Automated driving technology verified and active. Is that new car smell in here? It smells so good. Personal belongings with you. Crazy Be sure here. to check your final performance numbers and our scoring for you. My hair's all kinds of crazy. Crazy hair picture, that's what it is. Is my hair looking all crazy? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> She's being a crazy. I smiled, I was ready. Bumblebee tuna, bumblebee tuna. No, I went to single rider. I couldn't design my car. We were in single rider. Remember, you can't design your car in single rider. You pick one out of the six. Unfortunately, if I was on, if I had a fast pass, I know how to make my car fast, but no. Nope. We had to suck it up buttercup and get a single rider. Oh, I love the new car smell. It smells so good. Mm. Smells delicious. We did. We just thanked the Phoenicians. That was fun, though. It wasn't too long. It was more like a 40-minute wait as opposed to 25 lies, I tell you. You're right, you're right. It wasn't the longest. It wasn't the shortest, but it was It was like a 40-minute wait for your single rider. It's okay. It was fun. It's not much. I love Test Track. You had a good time. We had a good time. It was good. Let's see how crazy this hair looks. Oh, it looks fine. <laughs> yeah, but it's it was fun. It was fun. I love Test Track though. 
Next time, David, next time. Well, we did two tier ones today, so we were able to do Test Track and Frozen. So, that was good. I am not going to Norway today because there is too many, too many children. So we're going to go to France today because there are too many tour groups. <laughs> Plus, if we're late like this, friends, we have a better chance of getting a better view. Oh no, this is the blue and white tour group. Help! <laughs> Sorry. My little pathway is closed. Dang. It's okay. Cutting through mouse gear. Getting some air conditioning. Mm, don't threaten me with a good time. Wow. You are so cute. Yeah, here's all the little mermaid stuff. Oh, this is the kid stuff. But I went to Disney style. Oh yeah, here are the ears. They're very lilac-y. You know? Very little lilac-y. Cute. All right, let's get to fireworks or else we're... We'll shop later. So weird when there's no festival. It feels so naked. Like there's no topiaries. It's weird. I know, right? Isn't it weird? Epcot with no festival is just weird. Pretty, pretty little flowers, though. Okay. We're gonna walk fast. We're walking fast. We're burning out for tuna. And beef sukiyaki today. Mm, it was so good though. It's one of those meals that it was delicious, but it was clean, you know? It's good. There was a crocodile gator in the water for a minute. It was just like debris, but it does look like it, don't it? Mm hmm. Like where their little heads pop out of the water. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're power walking now. Under a trash can over here. Canada. I've never watched it from Canada. Is it good or is it terrible? 
I don't like the end going though. Yes, go Ruby. Get that apple juice, girl. Postmates, you're gonna be like, Postmates is my new best friend. Got a dead spot coming in through the UK here. You gotta bear with me. Coming into a dead spot right here. Well, right over there. Just, just give me a second. We gotta get over. Oh God, no, they're following me, I can't win. Sorry, run. There are so many true roots, I can't. I can't deal. Oh my gosh, there's more. We are just, we can't win y'all, we can't win. is proud to welcome you to World Showcase Lagoon. And in just 15 minutes, we invite you to enjoy Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Because of lower light levels during the show, please watch your step and take small children by the hand. Get ready, because tonight's Illuminations, Reflections of Earth will begin in just 15 minutes. Thank you. This uphill is burning your legs, man. I'm gonna switch over here. I think I'll squeeze. You're gonna sit? Are you gonna be good? Are you? Yeah, but you're sitting? Good? Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot over you. You're perfect. I prefer the actual, like, being in front of an ECV, actually, because you don't have the popping kids. It works out good. Thank you. Perfect. We made it! I guess some littles over there, too. I think I'll be okay. Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Now I might just go over here. Oh, look, the boats. That's what we need to do for 4th of July right there. Let me turn the uh, speaker over so you can like hear good. Right from the middle. 
middle. The boardwalk resort right over here behind us, um, they, there's only one marina, so it ramps out of there, and it'll be, it, it's the one right directly when you come out of the yacht club, it's right in the middle. There's only one. So this is where you rent that. Just go up to the marina, or you can also call 1407. Good. I, I already, Gus is already facing the speaker, that's why.
over here. Thanks for being here, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you like fireworks, do it up. Appreciate it. Macaroon for Rob. No, he doesn't like macaroon. I'm the macaroon girl, not Rob. Jammy Dodgers for Rob. That's what he wants, but then he'll get mad at me. Oh, you're trying to sabotage me, woman. He does it to me all the time. I came home the other day because he was hanging out now with working so much. Him and Jimmy had like, of course, they're just hanging out, dudes night. There's like pizza boxes. Not keto pizza, like real pizza. I'm like, uh huh. Uh -huh. No, he wants a. Uh, he doesn't want his company. Jamie Dawson. Ladies and gentlemen, Epcot welcomes you. And we invite you to enjoy illumination. Reflections of Earth. This spectacular celebration can be experienced all around World Showcase Lagoon. Because of lower light levels during the show, we ask that you please watch your step and take small children by the hand. Tonight's Illuminations Reflections of Earth will begin in just five minutes. Thank you. And cats and boots 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 Get him some jammy dodgers. So He's already having windows. Acá están los dos. Thomas.
Love you too. Thank you, Ruby. of Walt Disney World, the place where dreams come true. We welcome all of you to Epcot and World Showcase. We're gathered here tonight around the fire as people of all lands have gathered for thousands and thousands of years before us to share the light and to share a story. An amazing story, as old as time itself, but still being written. And though each of us has our own individual stories to tell, a true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight, Reflections of Earth.
thanks you for having been with us for illuminations. I, I do tend to like this spot a little bit better. The, the sound is way better on this side. have any ohana to initiate lobster bisque peter stayed home so no lobster bisque for you but the skyliner's right there and it's still like kind of like closed off here they're still doing a lot of construction coming up very shortly bye boats see you later so fun 
We will for your Fourth of July. That's what I'm doing. I'm not staying. I'm not doing that again. After last year, after this past Fourth of July, we'll do Epcot. That's fine. But Magic Kingdom, I'm not doing. Like we'll do the boat at Magic next year, and then we'll just after the fireworks, we'll walk over and go find DJ Spinny Spin and have us a dance party. But that was like it was hard unless you were there, like. We were, and you guys saw how like packed it was and scary with the thunder and lightning with Bill. And that wasn't even packed because at least we were with all the wheelchairs and stuff. So it wasn't like we were super, we were packed like sardines. Like, but at least we had some room to move because everybody was in wheelchairs and stuff and ECVs. But the people standing on Main Street, they were, you were literally shoulder to shoulder. You had people's heads practically leaning like on your shoulder, like their chins. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was body to body on Main Street. Like I felt bad, but yeah, maybe not doing that again next year. We'll 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 do a little bit more comfortable. We'll find something fun to do. I'll show you where the Jammy Dodgers are, but I'm not bringing any. We still have mangoes to eat. That's all the sweets everybody's getting. As tempting as it is, but they have the most delicious delicious treats in the UK. This UK is awesome. Oh, the AC. Here for the AC. We got teas, iced tea. Ooh, I love iced tea. Look at all the deliciousness. What's that? Oh, okay. Mm. There you go. You want the weight into Rob's heart? You get him a pack of Jammy Dodgers. This makes Rob happy. You want the way to Jen's heart? Right here. Fruit pastels. They will make me very, very happy. <laughs> oh, the, they have the ginger nuts. These are like really, really gingery ginger snaps. Super good. Oh, I'm not eating it. No, I'm good. I'm so tired. Like, I'm so full, David. Like, I, I ate good stuff. Like, I ate tuna, and I had the sukiyaki beef and the hearty kale. Now, I'm just saying this is what Rob is uh, actually going to be. If I give them that he'll be happy but the, or he'll get really mad be like not really mad Rob's not like that he'll just be like you're trying to sabotage me woman who clotted cream at, um, at our, in Universal they have a clotted cream um, ice cream Jaffa cakes I don't know what that is we'll have to do it again when Rob is here I can't do any snacks without him he would like riot but we have to do the UK and yeah, we'll have to do the Japan again because there's so, so much candy in Japan that we didn't even get through yet. And same thing here. We, we do 10 snacks per country and we didn't make it through. There's still, ooh, how cute. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh no, the fruit pastels are not sour. They're just sweet. They're really good. I mean, they don't have high fructose corn syrup in the UK. So that's why I love like, they're, they don't have any of that. They don't have all the chemicals that we have in our candy. So like, I just love them. Like, these are my favorite. It's because one of my neighbors growing up was from the UK and she would bring them like they came in a roll. Like they didn't even come in a bag like this, but she would bring them to me every time she would go home to um, to London for the summer and she would bring them home. It's more like a happy memory too. But they do sell them in just a strawberry and black currant. They're just like gummies and they're like coated in sugar. They're really good. It, I like gum candy, but they aren't sour. I like the little, just the little packaging. I'm a sucker for good packaging. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, hey, Mandy. So cute. Oh, shirts. The AC's really good in here. I love the packaging on the candy. It's really cute. Get a mini. Ooh, they got purses. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. 
Oh, they have like the Yardley perfumes and everything. Oh no, Ruby, don't open the door to strangers. They have perfume, a lot of different. Really pretty, look, it's a chicken. What does chicken smell like? <laughs> chicken, they got a doggy, bunch of different doggies, lions, a peacock. Uh, that's funny, kitty cats. The stag one is really pretty. Yardly stuff. Oh, they have the guy. They have the man cologne. I smell. I have the essence of Norway right now, so I'm not gonna be spraying anything else on me. Cute though. They have cute merch. You know, they have such unique things in different countries. Uh, this is where the band plays when the band is here. The British invasion. So fun. I just love world. Show. Epcot is the prettiest at night. I don't know what it is. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, the AC. Oh, love that show. That's cool. Go get the wine, y'all. Go catch up on your night. I finally watched 90 Day Fiance because y'all were asking me last night. Uh, I watched that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, like Pedro's mom is a hot mess. They're just both a mess. I can't stand either one of them. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, 90 Day Fiance. It was good. It was good. See, they blocked off Christopher Robin's room. You can't see in there anymore. So sad, really. So sad. There's a kid cot area for the kids. Like, the, each country has a kid cot area. Talk about fun and exciting things to do with your kids. There you go. It's fun. Sponsored by Ziploc. <laughs> it's very adventurers club. Like all this decor. Look at the hat. I love it. All these Egyptian artifacts. It's amazing. It reminds me of the inside of Skipper Canteen. You know, this could be like the SEA, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. It's really cool. Ouch. Oh, the narwhals, unicorns of the sea, the little mermaid, the old man of the sea, Treasure Island, Tahiti, Gogong. Oh, what's, what's up there? Really old books. It's all faux, but it's really cool. I'm trying to see if there's anything that says it, it's like Society of Explorers and Adventures. Stonehenge. It's really cool. Some amethyst. Really cool masks. Robinson Crusoe. I love the little hat. I love all the Egyptian artifacts. There's the Sphinx. The first and fairest pyramid. And is, that the, is that the temple of Karnak? No. Oh, it's, it, okay. Nefertiti. Oops, sorry. I'm pulling you guys and not showing. <laughs> sorry. There we go. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Krakens and sea monsters. See books. Any little thing, you know, like it's Easter eggs and things like that. It's always fun to like look at all the little details of things. Oh, that's funny. Here's Tigger. Hi, Tigger. Oh, is that Kanga? What's Kanga? Or is Rue? 
Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Boots and Cats. 17 Cherry Tree Lane. All right. Oh, it's probably just bad signal in the shop, so let me get out of the shop. Just trying to suck up the AC. Just a flesh wound Monty, Monty Python. Oh, let's go this way. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to just get out of the way. Oh, that was fun. Right? Tigger is adorbs. Oh, back up to the hot, hot, hot. Certainly not in London, because this weather is definitely Florida all the way. Yeah, there's a lot of dead spots here in the UK. Mm, smells like Yardley soap. There's the Rose and Crown. Why is it called the Rose and Crown? Because Rose and Crown are the two most common words that are used in bars in the UK. That's why it's called the Rose and Crown. Fun fact, but you knew that already. <laughs> it's the one that I always say every time I, I walk by it. Oh, they got some Rocket Man gear, Elton John. That's cool. Several places. Well, not several, really. Yeah, World Showcase was designed for more countries than what it already has, so. I wish it was a wee bit warmer, a wee bit cooler. I loved it in the wintertime, it was so nice. Canada! My favorite people are from Canada. <laughs> I have quite a few friends that are from Canada. Food and wine will be here so soon. Enjoy it while we can. No, I'm so full. I mean, I ate so much, but it was good food. I ate like a giant bowl of tuna and beef. I'm still full. I would waste it. Yeah, I'm stuffed. I need a cold beverage though. I'm cold. I mean, like, I'm hot, so I need like a tea would be nice. There's something cold. Too hot. Yeah. It's beautiful though. Epcot is so nice at night. That bowl, it was so big. Like, that bowl at Yasaki, they don't fill it up. I am not even kidding you. They like load that sucker up. That thing was heavy. It was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of food. And I ate all of that tuna. That tuna is in my belly, but that's clean food. So I don't even mind. Well, I'm stuffed, but I don't feel guilty. You see, so totally worth it. <laughs> no, it was delicious. If you really want Japan Pavilion grade, like a poke or a uh, you know poke bowl or like you can have beef they have chicken they have shrimp they have tuna um they even sell the karaage you know the little fried chicken they also sell the remember the chicken bao buns that they have in japan um during food and wine they sell it at yasaki it's at disney springs right there where like russell's pretzels is and then there's like a joffrey's right there in that little like Hagen Dawes, the little quick service area, that's where they sell it. It's so good. 
Yes, this is so, um, you can still buy it. It's on Amazon. Type in Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, and Tapestry of Nations. It's a CD. They sell it here, but it'll be cheaper on Amazon. Prime Day is coming up on the 15th. So make sure you guys check out our Amazon Influencer Store listed in the description box below. Even if you're going to shop anyway and buy your Amazon things, if you click through the store and shop from there, it definitely helps us out. So check it out. It's listed. Oh, there you go. We got some happily ever after in the distance, y'all. Reach out and find your happily ever after. <laughs> um, but yes, that is definitely greatly appreciated. Um, it's July 15th, it's um, Prime Day, so yeah, check out our Amazon Influencer Store, it just gives us a, you know, every little bit helps, but clicking through, and if you just click through there, look through our store and buy whatever else you're buying, but clicking through from there definitely helps us out. <laughs> No, the bao buns that they had during food and wine that they sell in Japan, they do have the fish cakes there, the taiyaki, the taiyaki cookies, they sell there as well because they had taiyaki for food and wine. But no, it's the chicken bao buns that they had for food and wine in Japan. It's the same. I told you it's the same because it's, I know a lot of the people that work in Japan. Um, it's run by the same restaurant in Japan, like both of the restaurants in Japan. So it's, yep, that's why I told you. It's like you're getting Japan food quality for a quick service price. It's one of my favorite, favorite things to eat at the Springs. So good. Starbucks closed. I know it is. Why? Starbucks, you need to be open later. Seriously. Starbucks, Starbucks. Thank you for linking that. Appreciate it. Not yet, but it's, they named it what it was going to be. They're opening a third restaurant in Japan. You have Japan Edo. Oops. And then you have Japan Dining, and I forgot it's a Japanese name, but there is a third restaurant in Japan. It's run by the Mitsukoshi Group, same group that runs, you know, all of those restaurants up there. But because I have friends that work in, obviously, in food and beverage, and, you know, one of them is a manager there in Japan. And then, like, he got injured, so he was, like, on light duty, kind of, so he was working there. And it's the same staff, and one of the guys that was working at Yusaki took a promotion and then now he's one of like a, I think he's a coordinator over in Japan. But their food is so good. It's, it's like flown in, it's fresh. That is like good sushi grade tuna poke. I mean, it is clean, delicious, good tuna poke. Any, any sushi grade tuna should never smell or taste fishy. It's like little chunks of butter melting in your mouth it's so red that jeff thought that it was watermelon on the picture i'm like oh no that's fresh tuna it's like little chunks of delicious buttery goodness just melting in your mouth kind of like a good steak hmm. crown or instead of a rosin crown oh you know what he was thinking he needed himself some canadian whiskey he wanted a crown royal. <laughs> oh, Spaceship Earth, why are you so pretty? I am so sweaty. There's lines for photos at the end of the night. Mm. Yeah, we just passed the Starbucks. It's closed. Fountain View. It's just so pretty. I'm going to miss it. We're going to miss it when it goes down. I think it'll go down for like a year and a half. But, y you know, it's a hot mess in there. Even today, when we rode it, all the little bumps and dings and 
breakdowns. I haven't had a picture on this ride for like a month. <laughs> we just don't get no love. It's at Yasaki, it's at Disney Springs. Uh, it's at, yeah, it's Y-E-S-A, like Saki, S-A-K-E, but yes, Saki. It's at the quick service restaurant at Disney Springs. Oh boy. What's the temperature? It's sticky. It is 78, but still sticky. <laughs> 78, it's 78. Wow. Hey, Joseph. More flags. I can't win, man. It's so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. Here's the last of the legacy stones. or some on this side, so all the ones on the left are all gone. Oh, well, they moved them. Hey Peter, how are you? Ah, pizza places. It's just like, humid still. It's been a pretty rough summer, like hotter than usual. Just since April, we've had a super, super sticky. Sticky, sticky kind of situation. It's so weird. There's no topiaries. There's no sign. It's so weird, isn't it? Here, I'll give you a good, pretty view of Spaceship Earth right here. Yeah, good night, guys. Thank you guys again for hanging out. It was a fun Tuesday. I'm going to go home, cuddle my dog. <laughs> Riley Ray misses her mama. So thank you guys again so much. Now it's your turn to make some magic. Comment, like, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys again for everything. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. That way you don't miss out on any of our adventures. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Alex.